Merry Christmas! Welcome to day 25 of Advent of Code 2024. It's the final day. Let's get cracking with the puzzles. Actually, there's only going to be one puzzle today, I think. Oh, wow. Okay, seems like it shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard. Um, so some of them are keys and some of them are locks. Okay. Parse a schematic. Okay. Mm. If, if the top is filled, it's a lock. Uh, okay. So go through all five. Well, if S. Is it dots? Two, three, then pen J. So we're going to start at four. Four minus three, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, there's six tall, not five tall. Interesting. So at the very bottom, you'd have. Seven tall. There's seven tall. Wow, okay. Six minus J. Okay, so there's a lot more than invalid arguments. So this one is Six, five, four, three, two, one. I is one. Should be a five. Oh, six minus I. I 
see. Oh no. Okay. Okay, so it's five, three, six, four, one. Okay. Well, actually, all we need is um, them to not overlap. Greater than seven, then good is false. So we can break. And then we can print out answer at the very end. Zero. Okay, because we're not processing all of them. Two nine seven eight. Let's hope and pray that this is the right answer, and it is. Okay, awesome. All right, that's it for day twenty five. Okay, so for today we are looking at some keys and some locks. So the keys have some patterns that look like this, where essentially we have a bunch of different columns. So five different columns, and each one could be up to height seven. So it's a seven by five grid, and the keys have the columns coming up from the bottom. You also have some locks. Uh, the locks have pins coming down from the top. And the goal here is to figure out uh, how many key lock combos uh, exist such that none of the keys, none of the pins overlock with the, the columns. Um, so essentially, for example, these two, this is a lock and this is a key because the lock has things that come down and the key has things that come up. and for the first four columns, they seem to work out fine because none of the things overlap if you overlay them. But the last column is bad because there's four uh, things coming on top from the pin, from the from the lock, and four things coming up from the bottom from the key. And if you line those up, they touch in the middle at one place. So that can't happen. We need to find how many pairs of keys and locks um, are good. So how we do this is we need to parse through the input first. So we're not guaranteed that uh, the locks and keys are going to be in any order. And how we can detect if a given like grid is a key or a lock is uh, all the locks have top row filled with pound signs and all the keys have the top row filled with uh, blank spaces, so periods. Um, so we have this little function here that's going to parse every schematic and it basically takes in the grid, which is a list of strings, and that will turn the heights of the pins or the columns if it's a key or a lock, and a boolean, which tells us whether the thing is a lock or not. So how we do this parsing function is we go through all of the columns, and then if it's a lock, then the things are gonna come from above. So we iterate through the rows one at a time until we hit a blank space. Once we hit a blank space, we know that we've ended the block of things coming up top, and we can add the value of the heights of that column um, to our list and return that at the end. Um, if it's a key, then we have things coming up from the bottom. So instead of iterating from top row to the bottom, we iterate from the bottom row to the top, and there's only six possible rows, so we can do six to zero. And we have this negative one here because Python, um, you, you can't end, or like it doesn't include the end of the range, and this minus one is to iterate backwards. So it goes from six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Uh, if it ever hits a blank space, then we know to stop, and we can add the height of that column to the total list and return that at the end. So this function will return something that looks like um, this. It will return the list of the heights, and then whether it's a lock or not. So now things are pretty easy once we have this function. Um, we go through all of the grids, and we see if it's a lock or not. Uh, if it's a lock, then we add it to the list of locks. If it's not, then we add it to the list of keys. And then we iterate through all pairs of locks and keys using a double nested for loop. And then we check if that combo is good by going through all of the columns and checking to make sure that the sum of the two numbers, the two heights, does not exceed seven. 
um, or it's at most seven, because that's the total heights of every column in the grid. If at any point we violate that, then the combo is not good. But if we don't violate it at any point, then we are good for this pair, and we can add that to the answer. So that's it for part one. And in fact, that is also it for part two, because there are no part twos for Christmas. Um, so we go into the office, startling the chief historian. So we have found the chief historian, which is great. Um, they have to deliver a high priority request from Santa. Just then, the chief notices the time, and they give us a chronicle. So we just have to deliver the chronicle to Santa. But it turns out, it's not actually for Santa. The chronicle is for us. The gift isn't for me, it's for you. That chronicle is a record of all the places you've been and people you've helped over the last decade. Thank you for everything. That's pretty nice. 10th, 10th anniversary of Advent of Code. Um, we get to reminisce about all the previous years. So... That's it for Advent of Code 2024. Um, this is a nice animation over here. Uh, you got sleigh, you got fireworks, you got things running around, you got train. Um, I really appreciate this animation. Eric put a lot of effort into it, you can tell. Uh, yeah, so that's it for Advent of Code 2024. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, code is also in the description. So thanks for watching, thanks for following me this year, and I'll see you next year for Advent of Code 2025.